All right, it is 6.59, Sunday, September 6th, I believe, and I'm about to start reading the Book of Mormon all day. So we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna share how I read the Book of Mormon in under nine hours and how you can do the same if you're interested. I don't wanna to get too spiritual on you if you don't even know what the Book of Mormon is or you're not spiritual. Don't worry, this is gonna be about how to achieve goals as well. I knew this experience would be valuable to a lot of people, so I wanted to make this video specifically about reading the Book of Mormon all the way through in one day. There have been very few times in my life where something has just completely enveloped my focus and it's been so delicious to me that I couldn't stop consuming it. And this was one of those times. Partly P. Pratt, who was one of the early leaders of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, said of reading the Book of Mormon, this is his quote, I read all day. Eating was a burden. I had no desire for food. Sleep was a burden when the night came, for I preferred reading to sleep. I didn't get to that point completely, but I thought I was going to take a few breaks throughout, and I did not have any desire to take a break. I just wanted to keep reading. So that was really, really cool. In this video, I want to share how I went about doing it in nine hours, and then also a little bit of what I learned and what I would do differently. So the Book of Mormon is 531 pages, and it's about 27 hours of audio. 531 pages isn't that many, but as you know, if you've read the Book of Mormon, it's thick, and it's written in Old English, and it's difficult to understand. And so it can take a really, really long time. Anyways, I knew if I wanted to get through it in a day, I would have to listen as well as read so that I could keep a good steady pace. I started reading at 7.05 a.m. on a Sunday morning. There was no church because of COVID, so I just decided I'd read all day. I got a YouTube video, which I turned up to three times speed using Video Speed Controller, which is a Chrome extension, and I just started reading. I discovered a few years ago that three times speed is a little bit too fast if you're not reading along, but it's actually perfect if you're reading along and you can kind of focus on everything that's happening. There were moments where my mind was wandering, I'd just bring it back. I didn't focus completely 100% on every single verse, but I did finish the book, which I was proud of. About halfway through, I took like a five minute break for a shower, which was definitely nice, kind of refresh and then just start again. Anyways, as I was reading, I would kind of pace back and forth. There were times that I switched reading positions. I'd go to the bed and then I'd go to the desk and then I'd go to the lounge chair and that kind of helped keep things a little bit fresh as well. And I thought I was gonna take a longer break, maybe go on a walk, but again, I had no desire to, I just wanted to finish. So now let's talk about what I learned and what I would do differently. If I were to do this again, I would get a physical book. I didn't actually have the physical book, I was just reading from the computer, and that was okay, but I would have rather had a physical book kind of tangibly see myself progressing through the book. And if I do this again, when I do this again, I'll probably go a little bit slower as well. Finishing in nine hours, you know, it was great and I had the rest of the day to enjoy, but I probably would shoot more for like 12 to 13 hours. I probably would have had better comprehension. I could have written a little bit more after each section of what I learned and you know, my impressions from reading through that time. The biggest thing I learned from this experience is that the words in the Book of Mormon, the words in the Bible, the words in any scripture are finite. It kind of seems infinite. It seems like this huge mountain that you'll just never be able to see every single uh, part of it. It takes you so long to get through it. But what I understood as I was reading through the Book of Mormon and, you know, able to finish it in a day, I realized like, oh, I read Alma in two hours. That's really fast. It was just really helpful to see there's a finite number of words in the book and that scripture is actually not infinite, at least the words in there. Sure, I'll get new insights every single time I go back to the book. I'm sure I haven't really even scratched the surface of the depths of what's in there, but it's really helpful to be able to get like a bird's eye view of what there is and understand that we don't have an endless supply of words to read from. There are a specific amount that we've been given and it's our responsibility to read and learn from that. I don't know exactly why that helps so much, but uh, it was really, really helpful. So I've written a blog article going over all of the findings, everything that I learned, everything I wrote down throughout the process. So you can check that out. The link is below in the description. But I wanna take the last few minutes here in the video to talk about whether or not you should do this. I think this is an experience that every single Latter-day Saint should have. And people outside the church who are interested in the Book of Mormon, this is a great way to kind of get a bird's eye view of what we believe and to feel the Spirit of God. I was blown away at how good I felt after reading the Book of Mormon. I was filled with the Spirit. If it feels like too much to read the entire book in one day, the other thing I learned is like, you know, I was able to read First Nephi and like, 
45 minutes and I was able to read Alma in two hours and that's really really cool So if you don't think you can read the whole book all at once Just try to do one book as fast as you can you'll get a whole new perspective on scripture and what it means and An insight into the lives of the people who are writing that because of the speed at which you're reading So again, this was an awesome experience. I recommend it for anybody who is interested in the Book of Mormon or is a member of the church. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.